Hey, and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Got a slight cold, but I hope it doesn't take away from the video. Today, I'm going to show you the 2023 Royal Canadian Mint 2 ounce Ice Age of Canada Smilodin Sabretooth Cat and Brilliant Uncirculated Condition. And I just received this one from Atmix.com. So let's go ahead and take a look at this chunky Canadian silver coin with this really nice reeded edge and then throw it in a coin capsule and talk about some of the coin highlights when we return. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I appreciate you being here. So I'm going to read this directly from Atmex website. It's the most famous prehistoric Ice Age predator. And if you were a young mammoth or a mastodon, the last thing you'd want to see is a saber-toothed cat suddenly lunging at you with its oversized fangs. Smilodin means scalpel tooth, a fitting descriptor for an ancient big cat whose deadly canines measured up to 18 centimeters long. A key top predator, the saber-toothed cat, would have stalked large herbivores, horses, camels, giant ground sloths, and more around 35 to 40,000 years ago by hiding and pouncing on them, much like today's big cats. Despite being synonymous with the Ice Age, you won't find Smilodin perched atop a glacier. This prehistoric big cat preferred warmer climates. Its fossils are among the most common ones found in the tar pit deposits of California, but its extensive range did extend across ice-free areas of North, Central, and South America. Let's take a look at the obverse of the coin. The obverse features the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away last September and has been replaced by the king. And just as the standard 2023 silver maple leaf, which also shows the effigy of Queen Elizabeth, this coin bears a special marking that includes four pearls, symbolizing the four effigies that have graced Canadian coins along with the double dates of her reign as queen. When it comes to coins with the queen, honestly, the RCM provides a pretty good copy that is void of milk spots, which is important to me, and I find the premium to be lower per ounce buying these two ounce chunky coins than by buying two of the one ounce varieties. So you do save a little bit in your purchase and you get two ounces of silver. Now the reverse is where things really get interesting because as I've discussed many times on the channel, you have your standard bullion coins like American Silver Eagles, Canadian Maples, British Britannias, on and on that the design doesn't change. There may be some updates, some additional security features here and there, but generally speaking, these designs have been in existence for a long time. When it comes to these particular RCM series of coins, however, you get a unique design on the reverse of the coin, which to me is just, it's just so refreshing to have something different that's not uh, a remake of the same old thing. I mean, how many buffaloes do we need out there, right? So on the reverse of this, you do see the saber-toothed tiger design. In this image, we see the tiger leaping straight toward us with an open jaw. At first look, when I saw this online, I thought that the cat was swimming toward me, but you can see after a moment of paying attention that he is indeed leaping directly at you as if you are the prey. Now, next to the design, you will find a micro engraving security feature that does consist of a maple leaf as well as the number 23. That number corresponds to the year of the release of the coin or 2023, which in my opinion is a nice touch from the Royal Canadian Mint adding just one additional security feature, which makes counterfeiting a bit hard to do. Now you can purchase these as a single coin from most of the online bullion dealers. I've seen them online at many of them. However, if you do place an order of 14 or more, you will get them in a complete mint tube directly from the Royal Canadian Mint. So you're gonna get probably not the yellow cap tubes that the maples come in, it'll probably be a red cap tube, but it'll still be in the same dimensions as that for holding 25 of the one ounce silver maple leaves. Or you could just pick one up like I did today because I'm really only gonna add this one coin into my collection of modern silver coins. And so I won't be needing a full mint tube for this. Instead, we're gonna place this coin in a coin capsule. And then I'm gonna place that capsule in an airtight coin tube where I hold most of my capsuled coins. That is most of my chunky two ounce capsule coins, all right, which I don't have too many of, but I'll go ahead and bust them out. Now, if you need to know where to buy this silver coin, the capsule, or the airtight tube, I'll have all that information down in the video description section, which will lead you directly to where you can make a purchase. 
You'll need to add these specific capsules to your cart if purchasing directly from Atmex, which does help the channel out if you do decide to do that, so thank you very much. As it's pretty hard to find 38 millimeter two ounce capsules at local coin shops, You'll probably find them pretty easily at a coin show, but it may take a little effort and more than likely you're going to pay more for them because you may, you know, get them in boxes of 5, 10, 20, whereas in my particular case, I just need this one. So to keep my price a little bit down, I'm just going to add it to my cart at the time of purchase. All right, let's go ahead and capsule this coin now. All right, so we've got the coin and we have the capsule. Just set this down for a second. So there's a little tab here that says pull, so we shall pull. Even though with the gloves it's not super easy and it ripped, which was what I expected. So we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. And we will put our fingernail down in there, but we're going to have to probably do this off the camera. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so that was not easy at all to get this capsule open. Uh, yeah, it took me about three minutes to actually get it popped open. So not a huge fan myself of coin capsules, but I know a lot of my viewers are. So figured I'd show you today how this coin capsule works, considering it's only about a, about a buck, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the coin into the side here where it fits nice and snug. You can see it's got already in the capsule. And then I'm just going to take the top more or less line it up with the little mold injection site down there and then I will just press nice and firm all around as you would expect and we will get this coin sealed in this nice capsule now um, why use capsules okay well you see I'm wearing gloves when the coin is in the capsule you don't necessarily need to wear gloves because you're not making direct contact with the silver any longer you will still leave some fingerprints however on your capsules um, another reason is people who like to collect different coins maybe not fill whole uh, tubes with them uh, it's a great way to store them in these airtight let's go ahead and grab one of those airtights right now in these airtight tubes so you just simply pop open the little twist top and you can slide your coins into the airtight and then once you've got, I think it's about, well, for the two ounce coins, it's going to be 10 or 20 of the one ounce coins. This thing will be full. You can put a little packing peanut uh, up at the top, right, to keep them from uh, jiggling around. All right. At least that's how I do it. I know others in the community do. So uh, you can also just store these coins in any of the Royal Canadian Mint Mint tubes. They are 38 millimeters in diameter, just like this capsule today. So there you go. Let's go ahead and bring it up next to one of the creatures of the North coins, the werewolf. Yeah, so I'm not a huge as huge fan of the capsules, as mentioned. They're really bulky. They add some additional cost to your stack. But if you're only buying one or two at a time, I don't really see the big deal. And they do keep your coins nice and beautiful uh, for a long time. Keeping in mind the capsules themselves, the more you play with them, if you pull these coins out, you're sliding them around the table or something, they will scratch. So what are your thoughts on this chunky silver coin? At first, I thought this coin was the third release in the Creatures of the North series. But no, this is actually a separate coin series called the Ice Age series. And so I assume we'll be seeing more of these chunky two ounce silver coins with varying designs on the reverse of the coin coming out over the next uh, probably quite a few years as both of these coin series continue on. I'd like to thank you all individually for watching today's video. Thank you all for being here. I really do hope to see you again soon for more stacking tips. Of course, silver and gold unboxings, coin reviews, and other gold and silver focused topics. Please leave a comment down below. And if you like this sort of content and are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel as we have over 400 videos now on the topic of precious metals. Thanks again, everyone, and have a great day. Everyone, and have a great day.